Members of the SEC media are not very high on Texas A&M football this season, picking the Aggies to finish sixth in the Western Division. But in College Station and around the Brazos Valley, the expectations for the Maroon and White are always high. But what do fans from other schools around the conference think about Texas A&M? Last week at SEC Football Media Days, we caught up with a Montgomery, Alabama radio host to get the Auburn faithful's take on the Aggies. The thoughts with Texas A&M, at least from the listeners to our call-in show, is that they've underachieved a little bit since they came into the league. When they came into the SEC, along with Missouri, the common perception was, was that Texas A&M was more well-suited for early success in the league than Missouri was, but Missouri has had more early success. The Johnny Manziel bump that they got was certainly compelling for everybody. That's really been the face of that program for a while, but they haven't really been able to parlay that into some consistent success. Like Auburn, problems on defense. Like Auburn, they addressed it with John Chavis, or at least they think they've addressed it with John Chavis. But around here, our callers, when they talk about Texas A&M, the two negatives that they always talk about are the defense and the fact that Texas A&M has to slug it out in the toughest division in college football. <laughs> Tomorrow at 6, we check in with Michael Haney, a radio host from Columbia, South Carolina. He talks about expectations for the Aggies in 2015 and the addition of new defensive coordinator John Chavis.